Hey, what's up, gang? It's this is the Super Ninja and Swissy doing a doing a. We're both off before the stream tonight, so we're gonna do a makeup stream because we missed last night stream. So what makeup do you use? It's Jung and Rampa. Oh yeah, everyone's. Uh, I forgot about all the Primarily nail codes. polish. Boo hoo hoo hoo! My adorable mono cubs, little Monotaro, little Monophony, little Monodam, and the rest. Oh, why nope. did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. Boo hoo hoo! My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I told them make the most of your life because you only get one shot at it. And once it's over, nothing can replace it. Oh, why did they take for their life? <laughs> if only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. But the more I think about it, why did those kids even exist? What's an irreplaceable life, anyway? Hmm. Why did they exist? It seemed kind of random, didn't it? Oh, speaking of loose voice acting, we were talking about this before the stream, but um, there was a line I was going to tell you about in Kakarot that just, like, sent me reeling with how, how it was read. <laughs> so the line, you would read it as such. Uh, so what? Does that mean I have to tell her? Is how I would have read it, a human, a human being, me. Krillin's voice actor, however, decided to say, so what do I have to tell her? Even though, like, it made absolutely no sense. <laughs> or it was like something like, so what does that mean I have to tell her? Uh, the morning after going to was the black end. It's blowing my mind. It we gathered great. in the dining hall, as always. And there's just so many like that, too. It's just... it. The second half of the game is just, like, riddled with it, and I don't understand. I wonder if it was a different director or something. Because, like, it's not... The voice actors don't just get to decide how their line reads go. I know. It's just, like, very weird. It is weird. weird, though. It is very weird. Everything feels so disconnected to the point where halfway through the game, I, I was like, okay, I'm turning voices off because it's not working. <laughs> uh, As always... No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Blah. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Punch. What a bitch. Blood. Even in such a tart a tark dime, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer dime. us all up. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know. Well. Come on, I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I wasn't actually looking at the screen when I started reading that. <laughs> well. Are you really okay? <clears throat> Sorry, she doesn't have a voice. Are you really okay? I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, what with all the blood I coughed up, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. I'm 100% better now. Expert out. But there's no way you get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little. That's all. That's nothing. That means nothing. That's not how that works. <laughs> Wait a goddamn minute. What? I only have two cool, two cool characters left. Well. <laughs> Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? And Kibo's not one of them, by the way. We're suffering from a chronic illness. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance at astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much, just because you all love me and can't help yourselves. Of course we'd be worried. Ugh. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I told should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Hmm. Okay, don't glare at me like that. If I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat! Yeah, come on, guys, let's all eat! Om nom nom. Kaito spoke cheerily, then left to go get his meal. The second he's out of the room, everybody's like, yo, what the fuck? Right? <laughs> Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Yeah, that's a shit ton of blood. Yeah. Despite Kato's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. 
Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. Gonta wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us so much despair we'd want to die. Yeah. If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Uh, presumably something that I'm... will make us want to die. Yeah. Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of blood. Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> we can't... can't figure that out just by thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. What brain? But we can't simply not think about... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to push pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You're such an optometrist. Hmm. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me, too? That oh. was actually kind oh. of a good joke. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was... <coughs> I think you mean Optimus. No, I don't think she meant Optimus. I think you're just too small brain to get it, Samugi. Either way, they're... What? Either oh, way, that's God. something to think about once we get outside, so focus on that now. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. Well, that's understandable. I... I, I clicked away from the window, and that's too small to read. There are barely any clues. Can I not pop out this window for real? I don't know. I've never been able to. Why? Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Ah. I forgot about that little shit. The instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. I haven't seen him either. It's like he's completely vanished. He's probably just... He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Well, then we better get seeking. We can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little. Because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with her. Him. I was reading a different screen at the same time. Foolish. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. <laughs> Maki roll. that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. I know. That's why I haven't fucking done it. Yeah, is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. Where the fuck have you been? It makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki Roll? Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. I would say not at all, based on that interaction. <laughs> Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No, actually, we're safe right now. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously impl implicate him. But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way, like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... What up, motherfuckers? Here I am! Yeah, Manakuva! What are you doing here? 
<laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Can do. You're being awfully compliant. Of course. I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm alone, all alone and outnumbered. I mean, you absolutely have and can. Outnumbered? But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. Anyway, here's your prize this time. Two keys. You get two keys. This one is the last real key. And this one is the real last key. What? What's the difference? What? Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. See you later. Bye, Inara. Bye, Onara. You cannot take my check. For you can't take my check. I don't remember how she talked. Also, I can't remember how to say catchphrase. Check phrase. <laughs> check phrase, motherfucker. So, so what should we do about this new area? I think we should prioritize searching for that new oh, area God, over searching for Kokichi. Dong and Rampa stream says, Mala guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Uh, Hell we, yeah. We're both off. We were both off now, so we decided to do it now instead of last night. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. I didn't even get home until 11.30 last night, and I'm pretty sure Swiss was asleep. I was. Because I opened this morning. Uh, so you're saying humans are low priority. Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. <laughs> what do you want to do, Kaito? I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. All right, our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. All right, uh, I'll hold on to that. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed the key into my palm. Damn. Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. <laughs> Fuck. What's somebody dunking on him? He's Read doing his mood, best. Read the mood, Kibo. He's Jesus. not even wrong. <laughs> Read the fucking mood, Kibo. We split up and began our search. Despite the fact that I'm the only one with the keys, so, like, the rest of them searching is kind of useless. Well, not really. They could just, like, let one of us know whenever they find it. So it's not totally useless. Oh, stairs. I assume it's going to be, like, somewhere. Uh, on the last floor we've been to, and then somewhere not there. Because that's how it's been so far. I think one of them is an outer building, and then one of them is the top floor. That's kind of what I was going to guess. Because last time it was outside, and then also inside. Kaito is mad because he wouldn't risk everybody's lives in blind faith. Yeah, exactly. He's a fucking... He's a fucking idiot. I love Kaito about 90% of the time, and then the other 10%, he's a dumbass. Yeah. And it's not like in an, in an endearing way, either. It's just like, shut your mouth. Like, God, shut the fuck up. Please stop. You're hotter when you're silent. <laughs> fuck. Stairs. I saw. I saw the stairs. Uh, I need to look so up the Monokuma. The hidden Monokuma service chapter, too. Yeah, I guess it is a new chapter. Yep. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. I bet this is a key. Uh, now, is it the last real key or the real last key? I mean, it's almost definitely this one. Click, click. Huh? The key works, but it won't turn. Tick, 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 tick. Tick. What? Holy shit. Sensing danger, I, heard, I hurriedly <laughs> backed away from the door, and then... Fuck. Why? It exploded. A trap. That was dangerous. I could have really been hurt. The key. It's still here. Can it be used for something else? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't even activate. The... Oh, weird. What is this? Huh. From the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. But whose? Whose fucking lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. I should check inside. Then I turn the knob. It also exploded. Huh? It won't open. The snake is back. Ah! 
Oh, that research lab is closed because its owner is dead. The owner is dead. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is open, then that lab will remain closed. Since when? That's the first time I'm hearing this. That's because this is the first time I've mentioned it. Well, no <laughs> shit. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his, his academy. Anyway, if this lab belongs to someone who died... Any is guesses? This, uh, is this Rantaro's like... lab? How disappointing. You know what his talent was, was if you went in his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Oh, did we never learn that? No. He had amnesia. Oh, yeah. Like, more amnesia than everyone else. Fuck. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, well. What a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. I will kick you into next week. Wow, okay, rude. Rantaro's lab. I'm curious about his talent, but it's too late now. I mean, given the multiple weapons, I have a feeling it was nothing great. The key still opens something else, too. Yeah. Actually, look around for a second for me. This might actually be the top floor. Oh, yeah, this is the top floor. Oh, is it? So we're already there. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't remember what else the key does. That's cool. But he also had the, he also knew about the ultimate hunt, so he had weird amnesia, yeah. Maybe he was like the ultimate huntsman. Who knows? He may have been in charge of the hunt. Who knows? Who can say where the road goes? Uh... Yeah, I know for sure that one of those keys is outside, but I don't remember where the other one is. Yeah. Well, the other one, but twice. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll either stumble on it or, you know. Or you'll tell me. <laughs> Is this chapter four or five? Shit, dude. I, it's chapter five. I was about to say, I hope it's not chapter four, because then there will be nobody left by the end of the game. Yeah, I guess if two people have to die for chapter. Sometimes three. Uh, would it unlock anything in the basement? Mm, there is a basement level, but I don't think it's accessible yet. I mean, well, besides no, the we've been there several times. Yeah. Oh shit! Uh, there's one more. Try the, you know, that one checkered door at the end of like the before the gym hallway. I don't think we've gone in there yet. Uh, maybe. I don't remember where the James is. All guys said one is outside. That one I remember for sure. Uh, it's through that door. This? Yep. Go there. One is outside by me's lab. It's been a long yeah. time since we went to the James. Yeah, that that's the one I remembered a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Could and it be where here. everybody is gathered? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. I just still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is going to be awkward. What about you, Maki? So I won't. Look at me. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. But I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. That is true. Don't say that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. True. Uh, yeah, so... Ugh. Ugh. Fuck off. Eh. Hug me! <laughs> Jeez, it looks like Kaito's still upset with you. He needs to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shoichi. What happened to Gonda? No one could sort those feelings out in just one night. 
<laughs> that was emotional. That was very emotionally intelligent. Intelligent of you, Himiko. Clock. It's unlocked. All right, let's go. I thought I saw the word bitch carved into that door for a second. Hmm. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does the staircase lead? Outside. Oh. Go up and find out. Bitch, what do you want from me? Hmm. This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? I don't know. Let me find out. Well, keep fucking going. Whew. Finally reached the top. Feel as if there's something there. It's best to be cautious. Gasp. Is this another ultimate lab? Then it must be. Hey, it's my lab! <laughs> Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Kaito? Yeah, those stairs were such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. They made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. I'm tired. Hey, someone, give me a piggyback ride. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. What do you mean, probably? It's probably go it's gonna be full of super important stuff. Hey, is it everyone could give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside then. <laughs> hey! So you're, not you're not allowed inside. Give me a ride. <laughs> Cock. They're just out there standing in space. Cock. Pit. Pit. This is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You can, you operate, can operate this. I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Well, I guess it will all work out. What reckless confidence. I don't want to ever be in any vehicle you're driving. Wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Ah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? Your mom. At that moment. Hey, come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? I found this in the back. What is this, a file? A gopher project? A gopher project? <laughs> Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan, but none of us can remember the details of that. So this file has information about the project. So why does it say? Hold on, I'll read it. Let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. Ugh. Oof. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Well, what about the rest of it? What does it say? Don't tease us, just say it already. The rest is blacked out. I can't read any further. Well, that's fucking... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why did you say? Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? This is like Noah's Ark. Is it? Oh, Noah's Ark? Yeah, there's two the water fuckable, park? There's two fuckable each of us. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you're right. It was? Oh, who cares? <laughs> of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular, it does seem related. But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? I don't know that makes sense. If we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. 
Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's just in this lab. Why wow, you don't know your biblical stories? I didn't know the fuck. Of course I know about Noah's Ark. I didn't know it was made of fucking gopher wood. Like I don't who gives a, a fuck? Tree. <laughs> like who gave a fuck what it was made of? It's an ark. I guess the gopher tree is a real tree. All right. Well. People also ask, where is gopher wood grow? Where is gopher wood grow? <laughs> It is How? a species of tree that grows only in Blountstown, Florida. Huh. So Noah's Ark happened Whatever. in Florida. I guess so. Huh. <laughs> that kind of fucks with the anyway. timeline a little. Anyway, so it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. You're right. This place is useless to us now. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find the glass flash fly. What's a glass rack back? The hash singing. <laughs> Brash singing. Uh, flash bringing. Hash dinging. Hash slinging. Slasher. I don't know. But it's something that Monokuma yeah. created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. Because there's nothing we can do. Or, but there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. I mean, it is what it is. I'm kind of curious about That's this. Out. So, bitch. It's a lard machine. It's a lard machine. Perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Uh, yes, bye. Ah, uh, you know what I've not been doing, actually? Damn it. I was going to start slapping. So are there any hit on the on the stairs? Always be slapping. Uh, let me look. Wait, shut uh, up, I... shut up, shut up. What did you just say? What? <laughs> You said ABC, always be slapping. <laughs> yep. That's not. <laughs> no. Slapping spelled with a C. That's clapping! <laughs> yeah. I realize. God Listen. damn. Uh, Ultimate Robots Lab, fourth floor of the main building, outside the detective lab, uh, out in the cosplayer's lab, and the fifth one is during the Psyche Taxi. Okay. So, so no. Right, I can't remember uh, how to Outside you go. There we go. Go outside. Always be ka-slapping. Exactly. Ka-slap. How do I go outside? There we go. Oh, I can't pass travel right now. Lame. Yeah, there's events. Okay. Cool. Speaking of, are there any events I need to keep an eye out for? Round way. Going the wrong way. Not yet. Shut up! Okay. I'm pretty sure everybody is dead by this point. Well, except for the people who are. I'm looking it up. Uh, Kaido's nail art, which we didn't get, is chapter one. Faux celebrities, chapter two. Kaito's gambling problem is chapter two. A man's fashion space edition is chapter three. Himiko's training is chapter four. And Maki and the Katana are chapter four. So it doesn't look like there's one in chapter five. Oh, I missed the Maki one, didn't I? No, you didn't. That was the one where we got the space Katana, and she's like, I fucked up my first mission with a Katana. Oh, yeah. The greenery is completely gone. This place feels really mechanical now. Looks like construction is almost done. But what happens then? Go. Straight. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Probably not. Swing a right. Hello. Well, we've only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? Why is that? Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. Is that a Dragon Quest reference? I don't know. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Class trial ends and we get Monokuma's prizes and then we search for a new area. You know, the same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in areas we discover. 
I sort of thought maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But to solve the mystery of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Of course, I know we need to do that too. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Yeah, that's right. All right, then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. Fuck off. Oop. Hello, Keyboy. What you gotta say? There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, right? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Right. Ah. Yeah, that door. Right, right, right. I remember now. <laughs> you know that door? That big door? The super I big about door? It. I don't know if you could see it before now. That sound. Was it the giant door unlocking? I mean, I could. I presumably could look over at it. But you didn't. Well, I knew it existed because I remember the keypad. Bitch. Oh, thick metal I door. That been over here, but before this point. Well, yeah, I visited me like several times. What is this place? I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. <laughs> it took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted <laughs> to say. Fuck, dude. I can't even start slapping. Cause I'm moving. I'm gonna slap it on this map. What up? Oh. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. This maze like Holloway. Perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to. With what? Perhaps. Mild confusion? Yep. And that's not much of a maze, actually. Like, it's built like a maze, but I have a mini map. <laughs> Well, presumably Shuichi doesn't have a mini-map. Well, I do. What is this? This shutter is huge. Seems to be well fortified. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. That's a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't... Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and... What is ah. this? Kibo, get away from... Oh my! T -t tisk, tisk, tisk! God, I tried to do like... T -t -t -t. I just realized nobody says tisk in real life. And I've never heard it in my life. Don't you go setting off my the alarm now. Come on, come on! Hey, come on, come on. Out of the way so I can turn off that alarm. Hey, come on, come on. Jeez, you guys you gotta okay? be more careful. Be careful? What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Oh, that's the alarm system. Well, yeah. Oh, you don't you don't say. You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? Sure, I guess. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. That'll be important later, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. Jesus. Oh, what is the code? What is the code? I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. Uh, screenshot? Not that it'll matter. No. Wait, slow down, please. 503, what was the rest? Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. An electric that I mean, barrier. He didn't, give it the he didn't even give you the entire code, so. Like, is there an actual code? No. That's I mean, pretty yes. Tight. That's pretty tight In security. fiction, yes. What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Like I said, this is a very important place. Well, it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Pointless? 
Yep, it's pointless, so I may as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn, it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Beep beep. Beep beep. I'm a sheep. I said beep beep, I'm a sheep. See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now let's just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier and you can go inside. Um, can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? Code, rather? Huh? How annoying. Since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Quickly punched in 59 digits. <laughs> okay, now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and electric barrier, or just use the control panel out here, or do nothing, and the barrier and alarm will stay off. Well then, safe travels. Hmm. You just let us into this highly secured area. What's this game? Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move but forward. My inner voice is telling me, hope moves forward. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fucking just phase right through him. Hell yeah. Sure. Ah, over there. It's... An Exosol? All five of them are here. <laughs> that was weird. It's too dangerous. Let's run. Oh, wait a second. I've died. Oh, no. That's I'm alive, good. maybe. Are you? Nope, still dead. Yeah. Uh. Uh, 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 I, uh, think, I think I'm back. Uh, that was weird. Uh, are you alive? Maybe. I think oh, okay. so. Can you see the stream? Yes. Cool. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us. Oh, wait. I'm Shuichi. And the lights are off. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. Well, all the, all the monocubs are dead, and they're the only ones that can pilot them, so. Huh. <laughs> Surprise! This is actually the Exosol hangar. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols. This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. But, ugh, it's pointless now. Is it because the monocubs are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore. I can feel my allergies coming on. It sucks because I can't breathe through my nose. What? No one can control them anymore. Am I wrong? Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. What does that mean? Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. What? what? Sometimes uh, I don't know the references that they make. Yeah, I, I never do. The deactivated exosols. Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? If that's true, is nothing threatening us anymore? Uh, I mean, uh, virus, I guess. All five are being stored here. They can't. They aren't moving. Ugh. Get fucked. I slap. Fuck these hangers. I slap. Hydraulic press. Like on the hydraulic press. Hell yeah. Aw, oh, dude, this is gonna kill somebody for sure. <laughs> like, without a doubt. Oh no, it's gonna kill Kibo, isn't it? What do you mean? That'd be crazy. Oh no, it's they're gonna kill Kibo, aren't they? That'd this is a huge, wild, powerful dude. machine. This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Scrap them. Yes, even the Exosols could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. True. Also, it seems you can stand, you can control the hydraulic press using that control panel over there. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notice written here. The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor. When it detects a li living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Except for Kibo! Fuck! Yeah, that's definitely what's gonna happen to him. He's gonna get pressed. What do you think, Shuichi? Of the safety function? I don't know. 
Let's give it a try. What? Oh shit. Hmm. Try what? <laughs> Why? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly <laughs> got under the press. No! No, Kibo! Kibo. What are you doing? No, you you're not doing? a living thing! You're not living! You're not a living <laughs> thing! Kibo! Shuichi, please. Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Let's find out. Why? Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Oh my god! Don't worry, if I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I mean, That's to be really fair, the hydraulic at. press is not going to go from open to closed. It right? will move. <laughs> if I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. What? Why? He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out if there, get out of there if it's dangerous. Okay. Certainly. Now, if you'd be so kind, start it up. No. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I pressed the button. <laughs> to what end? And then. Stop! Get out of there, Kibo! Stop! Holy shit! <laughs> 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 That action roll, though. That was really funny. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, Why'd you do him. that? Why didn't you press the four stop it was so button, funny Shuichi? That it the call. Oh. Are you alive? Eh. Eh. Oh. 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 Eh. Eh. Are you alive? Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Uh, nope. I'm a scat man. Okay. I'm back. Oh, hi. I was just scatting. It's not my fault. But at least we know now. Seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. Yeah. Oops. Fuck, too. Sorry, sorry to depress you. After Literally almost depressed. Yeah, almost depressed him. <laughs> this looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? That seems uncomfortable. That seems comfortable. Comfortable, huh? Hmm. Oh, why? Painting the store. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? Painting. This machine is probably used to paint the exosols. Ah, right. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. Why? I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kimo. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? <laughs> You're impossible to talk to. I'll investigate. Here's some more. There's a big door. There's a big You're a big door. door. What is this door? Door. Door. What is this door? Yo, are those like those Japanese what, what toilets fucking, with the fucking what's asshole What's the fucking blast? space toilet? I, they uh, have those in the, Japan. It, they blast your ass. It's, it's called the bidet, and those are sold on Amazon for fairly cheap. Yeah, but they also have them in Japan, like just publicly. Yeah. And they blast your ass, I've heard. It's hygienic. I'm sure it is, but it blasts your ass. I don't it know if does. I'm ready for that. <laughs> You'll never know until you know. This is a bathroom. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Monocub certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then why is there a bathroom here in the first place? That's an excellent question. If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. Not even Are you space sure? toilet. Click on the window. Can I you can't click even on the click window? on space toilet. What window? Is there literally nothing clickable in here? Oh, that window. Oh. Well, that might end up being important. Who can say? The monitor. Oh, it's a mirror. I was like, why is there a window into another room with pipes? Uh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, scroll wheel. Fucking scroll wheel is what highlights things. Nope. Nothing important so in here. Dumb. I've investigated everything here. 
was definitely a hanger for the Exocells, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place no longer has any purpose, other than to eventually crush Kibo, apparently. Hey, Shuichi, hey, Shuichi there you there, are. I was, I was looking, looking for, you. for you. I don't know who this is. Uh, yeah. Oh. They come to the dining hall. Sumugi says he wants everyone to meet there. Huh? Sumugi? She told me she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Why did I stop mid-sentence? Who? Me? What are you talking about, Respite? Oh, because me is dead. That's oh. why. If Kiba wanted to make over, you could probably just ask me. No. <laughs> right. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay. The next flashback light. What will we remember this time? I should head to the dining hall. Ugh. My voice is nasally. Because my nostrils don't exist. I'm Voldemort. I can't even open the map. That's cool. How the fuck? Okay. Fucking walk. I forget where I was. Voldemort had nostrils. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, Res Pine may have been spoiled just now. Whoopsie. Well, I mean, this is the 21st episode you're watching. That's fair, I suppose. Uh, dining the hall. dining hall is on this floor, visible on the map. I couldn't remember where they said to meet. Asshole. Fucking dumbass. Fuck you. Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. No, it's Snake. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. Oh, sorry, it's not the flashback light. Well, what the ah, fuck? I honestly thought that's what this was all about. Yeah, why did you call us here? I had to go to the bathroom. Nothing was stopping you. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious. I'm gonna make a click on her again. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> so what'd you find? Those letters Gonta found in the courtyard? There's more added to them again. <laughs> Looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. I took two Benadryls earlier, which was a mistake. Yeah. And it says... Send nudes. This world is mine. This world is mine. Kokichi Oma. That's what's written there. More letters are going to be added later that says, This world is mine. Kokichi Oma did not write this. <laughs> That'd be funny. Sorry, that's fine. This world is Ripper mine. And cheese. Yay, what's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? <laughs> so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. A prank? Kept adding that message just so we can make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it definitely seems like something Shuko Kiji would do. That is true, but is that all there is to it? Horse. Horsey. <laughs> yeah. Or perhaps Horsey the Pokemon. Yeah. I feel like we've been down this road. When Gonto had first found the writing, all it said was horsey. <laughs> the worst Niima. The worst Niima. 
This word, the word is Ein Owikma. <laughs> yeah. And then it made sense. Can we really just describe it to Kokichi's pranks? Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Seems no one has found it yet. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too. He probably found it first and hid it. That is possible. We need to do something and find him. Oh, there's no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. So let's just leave him be. Are you sure about that? You say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. No, there was something I was just thinking about. Thinking about something. It's still a little early to tell you guys, but... Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. <laughs> I'll figure it all out, and then my call will die again. Oh, no. Soups is dead. Soups remains dead. Ah. Oh. Uh Oh, are you back? I was back. I was back, and then you started cutting out again. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. I'm back. Hi. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Figure what out. I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaito's gonna get us out of here. In a rocket yeah, ship. Dude. I got reckless confidence again. Fuck, dude. We're both yawning. Mm hmm. Pause for effect. Reckless. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you guys just don't get it. Jeez, he heroes are always misunderstood. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Maki at me and smash. Yeah, leave it to me. Hmm. Perhaps Kaito's yeah. confidence is baseless. I don't know it's... why I almost started reading. Well, but it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. A hero. He might really be one. Sure, Jan. We weren't able to find the flashback light, so we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Please tell me it's free time. There's still some time left today. So what should I do? F -f 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 free time! Yes, baby! Slap! Get out of my way. Well, uh, res fine. Is this everyone that's left? Yes. Well, Kokichi's also left. Uh, Kokichi's somewhere, but he's like hiding. Yeah. Let me look up the free time stuff. Yeah. Free time events, Stormer Rampa B3. Let's see. Let's take a look. It's chapter 5. Availability. Let's see. Uh, Angie, not available. For obvious well, reasons. Gonta, not available for fear, for obvious reasons. Kimiko is also not available? That's weird. Huh. <laughs> so your options are Kibo, Maki, and Sumugi. Didn't I already go all the way with uh, Maki? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, I still got two more nope. to do with her. Uh, three yep, more with... Uh, there are four this chapter, it looks like. Cool. Rip dead. <laughs> Rip dead. <laughs> Rip dead. Damn. Uh, so I can only hang with... Uh... Kibo, Maki, and Tsubuki. That's it. Damn. I don't know why Himiko is not available. That one feels weird. Kaito's not talking to you, so I suppose that makes sense. Kokichi's in hiding, so that makes sense. Right. He's dead. Me, me, 
Eo's dead, Miu's uh, dead, Rotaro's been dead for a while, Ryoma's dead. How many free times are there right now? Four. And, and all of them are the same availability? Yep. Fuck They're all you. available for the whole chapter. This, these motherfuckers won't talk to you. Talk to me. Nope. Not doing it's it. no use. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. Let me hug you! No. Never. Why is everybody in the goddamn maze? Where's Maki? So I can finish out Maki and then... Uh, Start Kivo. Uh, no. I mean... It's gonna take less All than... All the cool characters are dead. Yeah, well. Oh, did you do some with some movie already? I forgot. Yeah, I've done two with her. Ah. So I could knock out the rest of Maki's and then get almost all the way with the uh, Sumugi. Hello! You a coward. He tries to look cool by calling himself a hero. But whenever he does something reckless, we have to clean up after him. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah. You need to take care of him, okay? That's your job as a sidekick. Fuck no, off. I'm not a sidekick. It's just hard to talk to him right now. I spent some time with Maki. I would say equally his fault that we can't talk right now. Right. Oh, shit. Don't forget about the, monocum the hidden monokumas. We should do that after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maki and I grew a little closer today. I would like to give her present. Let's see. Scrolling, scrolling. Maki, 91. No. Mm. Uh, 95. No. 130. That's the key of love. You don't have it. No. Uh, okay, Okay. well, that's all of her loves. Um, no! Oolong T, 001. Man, what happens if I give her something she doesn't love? Well, she likes it, at least. Like, the, does anything change? Uh, I think it lowers the, like, friendship rate, but just go ahead and do it, because, like, you don't have a choice. Your other option is don't give her anything, so... Like, I didn't know if I got more support or not. Uh, I didn't think I would get something like this from you. But I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? You look like you want to ask something. I do? Oh, whatever. I, I told you- Ugh, God. Cannot talk. Well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. But I can't take back what I said. It's been a couple weeks. You're gonna have to refresh my mem memory, bud. Oh, never mind. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She was a close friend from the orphanage. A close friend? Why do you look so relieved? I, I do? Yeah, you do. It's gross. Gross? I'm just glad that you have a friend like that in your life. Hmm, I see. So that's why you're making a gross face. Back, back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. Is she angry about something? I'm sorry. It's fine. Then what did you mean when you said she would take your place? Scouts, the scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. What? I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind, a crybaby who easily got lonely but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to such a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she'd gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, it was for her friend as well. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom and I would play as the dad. Well, neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. Maki. That's cute. <laughs> That's surprisingly cute. What are you saying? Don't you say things die? like cute. That kind of thing doesn't exist in my heart. No, I really think so. I'm sure you'd make a good dad. Sh shut up. Stop imagining whatever it is you're thinking. 
friendship. I will not, I will not stop. Maki's report card has been up to the All right, so let's do, go hit these Monokumas real quick if this isn't... Yeah. Uh, if this isn't a brand new day. Maki shared more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki is just like any of us. He just happens to have killed a lot more people than we have. Right. Like, like a lot of people. Like a lot of people? Like a lot of people. The first one is found in the center of the ultimate robots lab. Huh. And so I knew... Do you remember where the ultimate robots lab is? Yeah, of course. Okay, well then I won't elaborate. Hey, you actually remember. First try. Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> I almost went to the other one, so, you know. I see you, you little <laughs> shit. Oh man, he's fucking getting down. Hell yeah. Right, Next. The second one is on the fourth floor of the main school building. On a heavy God bless America. I was just... Fifth floor. Wait, what, what, what? The second one is on the first fourth floor of the main school building on the headless statue near the stairs to the fifth floor. You should teleport instead of walking. Uh... Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Uh... Speed running strats. Whoosh. Around the corner. Whoosh. Oosh, what? What? It's right, it's right by the stairs to the fifth floor. It's on one of those. Yep, yep, that one. Hmm. Next. Okay, the third one is outside the Ultimate Detectives Lab on the fifth floor of the main school building on the ground. Cool. Yep. Next. Uh, the fourth one is in the Ultimate Cosplayer's Lab, to the left and on top of the film set. The Ultimate Cosplayer's Lab is literally right, right in front of you. No, it's goddamn not. Okay, well then it's behind you. That was a big stretch on literally, huh? I'm just saying you didn't have to teleport there. Well, I didn't know that. I see you. And the fifth and final one is during the trial, so you can go do whatever now. Hell Although if you want to get yeah. some more gifts, I would suggest that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea right about now. Fuck. Called Dog and Rapa with my friends. It's very fun. We'll kill some people with a gun. It was a figure. It was the figurative use of literally. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Well, then it's not literal at all. You son of a bitch. It's figuratively literally. That's so stupid. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot I have every item technically. Well, wait. Then why didn't I have the what? There was one you that was a question one. mark. Oh, one gambling. Item. Oh, no. There's items you can get from. You can buy them. Yeah. What if I gambled? Oh, uh, that would take much more time than this. Yeah, but wouldn't it be cool? gonna do this for a hot minute. Alright. You're looking for two specific items. Well, yeah. Space egg and home planet. Bad thing is with the repeat rate 100%, it could literally be anything. 
Ага. А, у нас чат, Иван. Tell you what, I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. Twice in a row, huh? Upbeat humidifier. I want to die. Lucky chance. My bitch ass probably will fall asleep right here doing this fucking machine. I have so many earnest compasses. I don't need any more earnest cum pie. Good news is you only need one of them and there are two different items. Bad news is, it's the same chance as every other goddamn item. I don't need any more gyozas in the shape of a face! Ketchup! Ketchup. The range of things wrong. inside this fucking thing is incredible. Lucky chance. God damn it. I've wasted so much money already. Someone's student ID. Who knows? I'm losing my goddamn shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> Am I helping? Fucking two humidifiers in a row, shit. It's some bullshit. <laughs> Maki, why don't you like more things? Fucking Miyu has like six. I don't know why we get excited the lucky at the lucky chance as if there's any like higher chance of it being the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Beagly three. Are you grabbing your automaton? <laughs> Perhaps. You son of a bitch. Hold on. I'm trying to find where it starts. Probably at the high. That barely came through, but I got I got enough of it to be annoyed. <laughs> that was pretty bless. good. Oh, that, <laughs> that was less good. <laughs> uh... Home planet! No, I'm, out. It. I'm out! I'm out! I'm <laughs> out! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> God. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> it was the automaton. Uh. That was a good 10 minutes of thing we just did. <laughs> I want to die. Right. Back to Maki. Where the fuck are Where? you? Where is she? She died in the time it took to get that. <laughs> Someone murdered her. Ripperoni and cheese. 
Yoshiichi, where you been? A murder happened. Oh, I was gambling. No big deal. I was so confused because with how fast I accidentally moved, it like replaced her with that, and I was so confused. <laughs> you were like, yeah. I wonder. Why were the Gopher Project documents in Kaito's research lab? Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah. Monokuma must have put them there for a reason. I have a bad feeling about this. Thanks, Han Solo. <laughs> hey, is there anything else we missed? We should check again. Okay. Maki and I investigated Kaito's lab one more time. Maki and I grew a little closer today. I would like to give her a present. And I better fucking have it. Because if I don't, that would be weird. Good one. Good one, Swiss. Comedic genius. Yep. There we are. Hooray. Is this for me? Hmm. Huh? Do I look mad? I don't show it, but I'm actually pretty happy. The close friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's thinking about you. No, she's fucking dead, dude. Read the room. Maki? She's not here anymore. She died. What? Died? After I finished training, I went to see her. She died in a car accident, saving a child. Oh, no. But then she got to come back as a student, as a spirit detective. And... Ah. I was shocked. It was Yu Yu Hakusho. That's the joke I was making. I see. Why did I endure all that training, then? But... She probably died happy saving someone. And the memories of her I keep inside of me have kept me alive till now. Even the whole orphanage. That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. Well, maybe too late for that. I see. You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross, so spit it out already. <laughs> I was thinking about what I can do. What I can do for you, Maki. Huh? For me? Maki, you're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I was thinking that you could leave being an assassin behind. Perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate the assassin cult? That's impossible. You sound awfully sure. The world isn't as simple as you think. It needs assassins to do, to, to do the dirty work. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't you think you're being presumptuous? Is there a wrong answer here? Yeah. Uh... I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, follow, you, follow your heart. But Maki, are you okay with that? Your question is unreasonable. How do I even answer that? I'm sorry. Shuichi, just do your best as a detective. Why don't you try to find solutions to problems where it won't have to lead to murder? What? The people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because certain complications occur and can only be settled with murder. You can try to reduce the complications. Maki pouted stubbornly and turned her head. And if that happens, I guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I could still see a smile on her lips. So this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize the situation isn't that simple. Well, you are Kaito's sidekick, so I shouldn't expect that much from you. <laughs> that goes for you too, right? Aren't you kind of a psych his sidekick too? Oh, you just had to say that. Maki faced me with a sly grin. I grinned back. Aww. Cute. I didn't think it was possible, the two of us smiling together. Look at us. But I know it's because Maki and I Who share a special thought? bond. Not me. And I swear on that bond, we will escape together. Five. With her, with her panties in tow. Maki's report card has been updated based on your experience with our you learned financing. What? Financing? Financing. I thought I would learn like assassination or some cool shit. Maki and I parted ways. I returned to my room. Maki's undergarments. And also, I stole her panties on my way back. Hey yo. Hey yo, got him. Just never saw it coming. Bing bong. Bong dang ding. Oh, this is an awesome for the only can. 
The time is 10 p.m. Time, 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 night. Killers, try to sleep like a baby tonight or the fishes. Either way, sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to just, it's nighttime. I would have been training. But a murder was at my door. Huh? Crisp. Do you have a minute? Maki, what's wrong? Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Your lab? I might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. Okay. I don't see how that tracks, but... She wants me to go? Maki invited me so I should go. Oh well, yeah, that's what friends some mostly do in these situations. I guess. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to? What the fuck are you doing outside? Go back inside. Samugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Get the fuck back inside. Student council no, mansion. I was just looking at the stars a little. Well, the, the whole student council except her is dead. So. Yeah, well. <laughs> well. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Remember? After Karumi's trial. Uh, she mentions it. Flashback. I forgot about Karumi. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just... Even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. Mall guy says the Himiko is also alive. I suppose that's fair. Well, but stars here are different. Not the same ones going to use to. It's bullshit. Fucking love those stars. I was just thinking the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. I'd forgotten this feeling all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. I th I need to thank Gota. Right. Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Uh, sorry, there's something I have to take care of. I see. Well, I'm going to stay out here a little while longer. Oh. Damn. I do want to join you, though. Who the fuck is out at this hour, Kibo? Do I have to put you under the hydraulic press? Oh, right, press? he's also- oh, right, he's also alive. I guess we were the only ones- <laughs> well, hmm. Hmm. It's already that time, Shuichi. What are you doing- what are you doing about the Zour words? I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding the curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time in the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. Feels yeah, like we formed the was, student huh? council with Angie ages ago. That was canonically like last week. Huh. <laughs> a lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during night time could result in another murder. Especially now when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. Yeah, fuck, dude. Like, this is all taking the place in like less than two weeks at this point, I bet. Uh-huh. Danganronpa games break bad real fast. Yeah. Uh, uh, where was I going? Never mind. Maki's research lab is somewhere. This floor. I'm pretty sure. I'm like... 10% sure. I think it's on the second floor. I'm like 0% sure. I'm on the second floor. Uh, maybe it's on the third floor? I thought it I was I don't know. Once we get to that. the third floor, I'll know. Riola? Yeah, it's on the floor. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's on the same floor as Riyama. Is that what I know? Man, I can't believe only a couple days ago Maki hated me. And yeah, it really turns it around, huh? Right? Sorry, I'm late. Oh, she pulled one. She pulled one over on us. 
Oh, so you came too. Yeah. Mm. Silence. <sighs> As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki <laughs> started up a conversation. Wait, oh, whoop, whoop. That's you. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's you. Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? Why would you want to see my weapon? But wow, there's a ton of stuff in here. Can you really use all these, Maki Roll? Yeah, more or less. But there's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? I don't use swords of any type, not after I botched a mission with a katana. There are straight up guns back there, though. Right. Hmm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Okay. Well, fuck you. Actually. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. <laughs> I'm dying. Same. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, <laughs> Kaito headed to the far bookcase. What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. Then Kaito pulled something from the black case. What's this? A bunch of parts? It's a crossbow. It's a disassembled crossbow. Yeah, I mean... Hmm, so when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Yeah, that's... what? Hey, Makiro, can you teach me how to put it together? Why? Sure, I don't mind. Kaito, this is extremely concerning. Right? Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm -hmm. Then next it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Aw. Aw. Kaito's struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Kaito fucking blasts Shuichi right in the head. Wow, since I built it, it's an extra cool crossbow. It doesn't matter who builds it, though. Seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No, that's alright. It would just make me sad. I sort of understand from watching anyway. <laughs> then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Wait, do I, do I have to do it? Who else is going to do it? Yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. Huh? <laughs> Seems like I'm not at 100%, so I'm going to go back first. Fuck off. Hey. Can't just assemble my crossbow and then leave it. God damn it. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Eh. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well, that's just Kaito. You're the worst, too. Huh? What? What did I do? I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Yeah, I do. We were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Go to If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Fucking... S sorry. <laughs> but now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you, Maki. Fuck off. Yeah. In the end, it was it was I who disassembled the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. The academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaito. I need to make up with him, for us and for Maki. Which means he's gonna die. I fell asleep thinking about it. La, da, da. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck, dude. Why? Why now? 
Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I still haven't gone to space. Damn it. Suits got sick to get in character. Yeah, no fucking kidding. I'd love to be over whatever cold this is. <laughs> oh, hey, these are This is back. a beautiful thing. Rambo. And it's, it's Rambo. So I want to print the words reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. So what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations? Is it? Because it makes me not do that. Uh, as in, I'm not reckless. Where did I... What did the... Oh, there we go. Some say it's foolish, but re recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. <laughs> huh. There's an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Rise and shine, kiddos. It's another gorgeous day for a killing game. So get out there, embrace your homicidal urges, and have a fabulous day. Fucking. Don't watch that on the stream, but you will have to watch it in about 30 minutes. Right. I'm sure everyone is gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. Hello. Hello. Oh, Shuichi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. Me, too. I'm not even eating breakfast every morning now. Nope. Or I am, even. It'd probably be good if we kept up this schedule after we got out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. More importantly, it might be because of this schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. I'll grow yeah, bigger and bigger this way, then no one will be able to call me Titlass. <laughs> Himiko? Was it the line read? Was it the read that gave you that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing. I'll get going now. I, I guess. <laughs> Fucking bunch of clowns. All of you. Why did I go everywhere. this way? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Kishi's not here. Well, if he's if he was, it'd be complete chaos. What are you thinking of? Huh? Huh? You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried too. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. Sure enough, he's a master of hide and seek. He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? No, as long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up, everyone. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? It's a little it's awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. It's gonna make you talk to him. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> What's your idea, Kaito? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Fucking just have a goddamn conversation, you asshole. Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked it around looked around looks like monokuma isn't here well i wouldn't care even if he was <laughs> fuck Kaiser, this voice Kaiser, hurts Kaiser, me uh, expression suddenly serious didn't i tell you guys yesterday i'm gonna get you guys out of here but to do that i need your guys help 
So please, help me out here. Oh boy. What? In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Hold on, what, what are you talking about? Work with you? What do you mean? Fight Monokuma with me. Why? What? Fight Monokuma? That was our best chance. Since the Monokubs are gone, the Exosols that were protecting him can't move. Yeah, but the Spears of Gungnir can. Oh, those aren't here. Well, Now's our chance to get together and <laughs> kick Monokuma's ass. As far as you know. Fight Monokuma. I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But Monokuma's probably got more spares. Wouldn't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? And all we need to do is destroy them one by one until there aren't any left. That's... But we don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exosols, this academy's still under his control. Then you're fine with things the way they are now? Do you guys really want to continue with this killing game? Are you okay with that? No. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. If we don't stand up now, then when? Well, we don't have anyone who can fight, like Gonto or Tenko. Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What is what Samugi, Samugi said, by the way. I clicked it preemptively. <laughs> I know an I know assassin. Would... No. I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki? Hmm. Let's do it. Huh? Kibo, you too? My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said now's the time to stand and fight. Maybe a dangerous course of action, but it will prevent if it will prevent future victims, then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. With the power of an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. Huh? Are you really waiting for that? I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. In the music, the moment, the moment, but I never let it go. That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. <sighs> okay, then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. You're gonna join as well, right, Shuichi? Yeah, right. So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yes, let's show them what we're made of. Metal. I won't even need to use my magic. Mostly metal. No, I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. <laughs> when did you guys want to start? I'm, fighting with, I'm fine with starting right away. Well, don't get ahead of yourself because this will be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. Prepared for what? To die. Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. That seems... Huh. So you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. Sounds like a bad plan, but okay. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. T to what end? We separated for now and returned to our rooms. A fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but what is the sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. Can't imagine he'd just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Uh, are you f 
fine with ending here because I'm dying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. This is the last two free time events, though. Yeah, I mean, we can pick them up right next week if you sure. want. Sure. What am I? I am actively dying. Well, of tired. Uh, I guess that'll I guess that'll do it for us today. Fuck. Oops. I guess it is still nighttime. It's just earlier when we usually do it. Uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at SuperNinja5506. You can follow Swissy on Twitter at QueenSwissy. You can follow the channel on Twitter at Magic Abridged. Uh, there's links to a bunch of stuff down below the stream. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to uh, be able to get some dope emotes. And the more people subscribe, I'll be able to make even more dope emotes. Uh, you can buy shirts down in the description. You can do the Patreon. You can do PayPal. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you uh, in a couple hours for Fire Emblem. Bye. Bye.